Saudi Arabian Perspective Introduction Our presentation represents the Saudi Arabian perspective on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. First, we will tell you some information about Saudi Arabia. History Saudi Arabia was founded in 1932 by King Abdulaziz al Saud. However, the land of Saudi Arabia has existed since 15,000 to 20,000 years ago. It was originally occupied by hunters and nomads divided into tribes. These tribes were united in the 7th century by the Prophet Muhammad. Saudi Arabia remained as a part of the Islamic slash Ottoman Empire until the fall after World War I. Saudi Arabia has always been a monarchy, and their current king is King Abdullah. Effect The Israeli Palestinian conflict has not had any effect on Saudi Arabia. UN actions In 2013, Saudi Arabia donated $10 million for Palestinian refugees. And because of that, they are one of the UN's largest donors. Other actions taken. In 2002, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, now the king, proposed a peace solution for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He offered peace if the Israeli armies withdrew from the territories that they occupied in the 1967 war. Also, these territories were to become an independent Palestinian state. This plan was supported by the Arab League, but rejected by Israel as it did not want to meet all of the demands. Economics Saudi Arabia has an oil problem. Their oil is way too cheap, which makes their economy enormously drop in money, as their oil reserves are the main export of Saudi Arabia. Opinion The Saudi Arabian opinion on the conflict is that they support Palestinian rights to sovereignty and believe in the two-state solution. Quotes Quotation mark, in injured Palestine, these people are still resolute while suffering occupation and repression and are deprived of their rights to independence and a sovereign state. Quotation mark, King Abdullah. Two-state solution. For the problems that the two-state solution would pose, there are possible fixes. To solve instability in the Gaza Strip, a sanction of weapons will be placed and more police will be stationed there. The 1.3 million Jews that are currently living in the West Bank be required to leave unless they wish to get a visa. Jerusalem would be split into two sections, which could be separated by a wall. Both governments will work together so that the city would remain safe from terrorists. As the West Bank and the Gaza Strip are separated, an underground train or highway would be built that Palestinian citizens could use. That's all, folks.